Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the Ring Spotlight Cam Wired. So we've got the Ring Spotlight Cam here, and the first thing that you need to do is download and set up the Ring app. So we've got that there. Now open up the Ring app, and all you're going to do is go in the upper left-hand corner, and then you're going to go ahead and click on the menu there. Then you're going to click on set up a device here and now we're going to choose what device we're using so this is the ring spotlight cam wired so we choose security cameras now it says scan the code on your ring product so on the back of this there's a qr code go ahead and scan that now once we scan the qr code this is the next screen that pops up so we're installing the Spotlight Cam Wired. There is a battery powered version, but we're gonna click on the wired one because that's what we've got here. Once we've selected the Ring Spotlight Cam, then we can go ahead and choose the location where this is gonna be set up. So we've already got a location in there, so we're gonna go ahead and click continue. But you can create a new location if you want to just by clicking on that second option down there. So let's click continue here. It says give your Spotlight Cam a name. I'm going to go ahead and just call this one Spotlight Cam 1. Now I'm going to click continue. It says plug the Spotlight Cam into an outlet near your Wi-Fi router. So we've got our electrical cord right here. We're just going to go ahead and plug this into an outlet and we're relatively close to our router. I would say if you're within 50 feet, you're probably in good shape as long as you don't have a whole bunch of concrete walls or something would interfere with your Wi-Fi router and connection. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in now. And I just plugged in the spotlight cam and once you do that, then the light on the cam actually activates. So I'm covering it up with my hand because it really does distract from what you're trying to see on camera. It says wait for the spotlight cam to enter setup mode. So after a minute or two down at the bottom of this camera, this is gonna start flashing and then that's when we know it's in setup mode. So what happens first is that the lights on the spotlight cam turn on. So the ones that actually would be used Welcome as a spotlight. Follow the instructions in the Ring app to continue. And then once this light down here starts flashing and it talks to you like it just did now, we can go ahead and click the light is flashing. It says tap connect on the following screen when the device shows up, so we're gonna click got it. Our ring device showed up here, so let's go ahead and click on that one, and then it's going to connect. Spotlight cam is connected to the ring app. Now our Wi-Fi network showed up here, so let's go ahead and select that one. You may need to enter your network or click show all networks if yours is not popping up, but we're gonna go ahead and click this top option here. Now connecting to the internet. Just a moment, Rome wasn't built in a day. Now our spotlight cam is connecting to our Wi-Fi network. Your spotlight cam is ready to go. With Ring, you're always home. It says fill in the blanks with snapshot capture. This feature lets Ring devices capture a continuous series of images throughout the day and night. You can swipe through them like a time lapse. We're gonna go ahead and click got it. It says help find things with sidewalk. So it says you can help your neighbors find pets. We're going to keep this disabled for now because what Sidewalk does is it actually shares your internet connection and device connection with other Amazon and Alexa and Ring products with other people to actually use that internet connection for a mesh network system. However, I'm not too keen on that yet. I'm gonna wait for that to play out a little bit more before I use it. However, I do hope that people are able to find their pets if they get lost, but there's probably a lot of other better ways to do that than using this Sidewalk feature. Let's go ahead and click Enable. It says Success. Your Spotlight Cam is now set up and ready to protect you. Let's click Continue. It says Just a few steps left to get the best from your Ring device. We're going to click Continue here. It says Physical Installation, Start Tutorial. I've already installed it, so I'm going to click through this. It says Share Device. I'm going to skip that for now. 
It says your ring products work better as a team. I'm going to skip this for now. Any of these options here, you can go ahead and go back to on the Ring app and set up and customize and use them in whatever way you want. Now, optimizing motion is nice. If you want to select areas where you're going to use this and you don't want it to trigger or you want it to notify you when a certain motion zone is tripped. But for right now, since I've just got it on the table, I'm going to go ahead and click skip. It says refine your settings anytime. I'm going to go ahead and click done here. Let's see if we can get a live view of this camera right here. So we've got the spotlight cam and it's going off. So it's usually going to update. Let's go ahead and click down here and see what it says. It says spotlight cam wired is currently updating its internal software. This may take up to 15 minutes. So I'm going to give it some time and let it update its software. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and look at this with the live view. So let's go ahead and wait till that updates. All right, now our Ring Spotlight Cam has finished updating and we're just in the main screen here. This is the Spotlight Cam right here and we can click on that for the live feed. We know that it's finished updating because you no longer see that blue logo down here that it's updating. So let's go ahead and click on the Spotlight Cam right here. That is the Ring Spotlight Cam wired that we installed. And you can go through here and you can review previous video footage or if you want to view live what's going on, you just go tap to go live. And then that's going to give us the live feed of this camera right now. And you can see my hand right there in front of it. And you can then see it go back and forth. So that's giving us the live view. And then you just go ahead and click end live. And then that footage is going to be stored in this timeline that you're going to be able to go through and look at. From this screen, you can share footage. You can filter footage. So you can do it based on if you've seen a person, a sound. Uh, or motion and then what you can do is go through here and if you want to look at footage for different days you can select that and you're going to be able to look at footage from different days now you can also make adjustments and you can see we just had a motion uh, detection alert pop up here uh, but you can also make adjustments and turn on or off the light right here so you can see if you press that that's going to allow you to turn the spotlight on if you're walking out in your yard and you want to have that on and there's also the alarm here and we're going to activate that I recommend you turn your volume down because it is a little bit loud. So I'm going to go activate that one, two, three. And you can hear that's pretty loud. So then you can just click that to turn it off and accidentally hit the light button there. Uh, then if you want to make any other adjustments to the settings, go ahead and click the little gear logo here at the top and you can change your event history or look at your event history, your motion settings, uh, your light setting, your motion detection setting, your motion alerts. You can turn on your siren from here. You can set a schedule for your device. Uh, you can change the armed or disarmed settings. You can link other devices. You can have motion snooze for a certain amount of time. And what's really cool, what I like is, uh, let's say you don't want to get notifications on your phone. You can connect this to a ring chime and then it'll have like a wind chime effect or you can even have like a doorbell effect. So when someone triggers this motion sensor here on the device, it gives you a little chime in your house and maybe you know, hey, what's going on in my backyard, or I should go look at that, or go look at your phone. So you can do that with the settings in here. You can look at your device health, you can look at the motion settings, uh, the other device settings, you've got a help screen, and other accessories that you can connect to this or give shared access to other family members. So now that we've gone through all the features on the Ring Spotlight Cam Wired, I've got a couple tips based on my process with the installation. So when you're setting this up, you do need to give it adequate time once you get it set up and it's connected to be able to install those updates. It usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Now I've had problems where the update kind of stops halfway through or it doesn't go through. And usually what you can do then, there's a button right here on the top. You can go ahead and press that and that puts it back into setup mode. But really sometimes it takes longer than you expect or for that update to go through. So just give it a little bit more time. Instead of 15 minutes, give it 30 minutes. And if you have to reconnect it to the Wi-Fi or reset it up, you may need to give it like a five minute cool down and then press this button, get it back up in setup mode and then set it back up on your device. Once I gave it a little bit more time, I was able to get this set up. Now that's not gonna be everybody, but if you're having problems with it, just a couple of recommendations there. Just give it more time than allotted to perform the updates, to get into setup mode. And if you have to, just go ahead and leave it for 20 minutes, 
plugged in or so, and then try and get back up into the setup mode by pressing this button up here on the top, which can either reset like the Wi-Fi settings or get it into setup mode, or if you hold it down, you can go into a factory reset or factory default settings mode. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your Ring Spotlight Cam wired. Uh, I really do like this cam because it does have really good clarity. It's a nice compact package and it does put out a lot of light with the LEDs and you've got the motion detection and two-way communication. And then it just can plug in anywhere you've got an outlet outside. You could also use it inside if you want, but it's a very robust camera and uh, water resistant, waterproof. It's meant to be outside. So thanks again for watching. And if you wanna support us, please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below and we'll see you next time.